Discord now has a new icon. Well, 18 new icons, and it's all part of their new Nitro feature for mobile users. Now, is this just another shameless cash grab, and how did I change my icon without Nitro? Now, in this Discord support post, which will be linked in the description, there is an overview of this Discord feature. And basically, once you have it unlocked on your phone, you'd go into your settings, then there would be this app icon tab where you get to set your new app icon. Now, this is for mobile users only. However, I will show you how to change your Discord icon on desktop in a little bit. Now, unfortunately for us, Discord doesn't show us all of the icons, but I'm here to spoil it. Well, actually, not me. It's the people at Discord Previews. Big Nunny made this massive overview of every single icon. Now, we have quite a bit of variety. We have some pretty regular bog standard icons. We got some camo, a little bit of pastel colors, a couple more, and I scroll down a little bit, and this is where we really get into the good ones. We have gaming, without a Y, unfortunately. Sherbert Dreamsicle, Sakura, Wham, and the cream of the crop. Then we have Fuming, Hollow, 1UP, and D64. This is a really big variety of different icons that you can use if you have Discord Nitro. However, you have one question on your mind already. I can read your mind. I'm actually inside of your head right now. You might be asking, can I have my own custom app icon? No. Kind of makes this a little bit disappointing. However, having different app icons on your mobile app is not a new thing at all. In fact, X.com, they have a feature where you get to change your app icon. And unfortunately for us, the elongated muskrat, the dude that that manages to run this website says that the bottom left is the best, and that is now the default icon. Thank God Discord isn't this headed out, but I want to make it clear that these app icons are, in fact, part of X Premium. Jesus, this name is awful. So Discord's really not doing anything new. And I mean, since we're at it, I might as well say that uh, if you pay for X Premium, you get half ads. What is this? <laughs> and with X Premium being $8 a month for these really basic features, Discord Nitro honestly looks like an absolute steal. And the whole point of this new app icon thing is really just to pad Discord Nitro and make it seem more appealing. Because, of course, the more features they are, of course, the more better. It's just basic math. But to be honest, these app icons are a 100% win for everyone. Because if you don't want it, you don't have to use it. If someone else uses it, it's not going to bother you. And for the extremely stubborn people like myself that will never ever buy Discord Nitro, this new custom app icon is actually a good thing because there are two sections. There's Nitro and Official, which might mean that we might see some potential for some uh, seasonal icons, you know, some Christmas icons, some Halloween icons. Just a little bit of fun. It's just like sprinkles on a cupcake. You're still eating a whole bunch of sugar anyways. It's just some extra color on top. Now, to be honest, whenever I'm in a good mood about any Discord feature, I really need to turn this bus around. So I go on r slash Discord app and hear the opinions of Redditors who are as miserable as I was, and still am. Now, diving headfirst into the the hateful comments we have, I can do that for free. Yes, you can, but just be patient for a second, dear, okay? Now, the next bit of criticism is honestly really rough. I'm gonna be real, I've seen beginner GFX artists make better stuff than this. This person is complaining that these icons look bad, and to be honest, you might not like them. I absolutely adore the mushroom and the controller one, but really, would you rather have these icons or the x.com icons? So yeah, this dude's just complaining for no reason. But another comment that I saw, ooh, I was spoiling a little bit, was someone that was disappointed that Discord Discord isn't focusing on making a good program. Now, if you don't know already, the Discord mobile app is in a really bad state right now. It's got a lot of bugs, it's slow and laggy. And people think that adding these icons is going to slow down the app even more. And to be honest, it's literally just a menu in the Discord app. This is not going to slow down your Discord app. Now, my sodium levels are starting to increase, but finally we're at the best piece of criticism. Who asked for this. Now, I could go on and on about this, but thankfully for me, this actually devolved into a complete Reddit argument of people freaking out, and of course, they had to pull out the big boy gamer words like feverishly. No one says that in real life, unless you're trying to be an intellectual on Reddit. Well, uh, that's enough Reddit for me today, so it's time to do something productive. Now, I'm going to show you how to get a custom icon for iOS and Windows. If you're on Android, follow this dude's tip of using Nova Launcher or something. So, going on my iOS cellular device, this is the App Store. You need to get the Shortcuts app because we're making a shortcut. And once you open up this app, you will see this little menu here. And on the top right, you want to press on the plus button. Then what you want to do is you'll see this big menu. You need to click on Open App and it'll say Open App. Then you want to press on the word App. Then you want to look for the Discord app. I have the Discord app. And once you do that, press on the little I at the middle in the bottom. Then it'll show this menu saying Add to Home Screen. You want to press on that. 
and then you get to customize how this icon looks. So if you press on the bottom part here, you can press on the little picture and you can choose a photo. And this is where you get to pick a photo that you want for the app icon. Now, here's the thing. I can't give you Discord's official app icons because I'm not sure if they're going to get really mad at me legally and uh, I don't really want to be sued by Discord. So instead, I have this little nerd app icon that I made. I'll have a Google Drive link in the description if you want to download this yourself. But all you need to do is press on this image, click on choose, and then you get to name the shortcut. So you could call it Discord if you want, but I am absolutely hilarious and I'm going to call it Nerdcore. Press on add on the top right and kaboom. We're now at my home screen and yes, my wallpaper is absolutely gorgeous. But now you can see I have this nerd core app. And when I press on the app, it opens up Discord. There is a little bit of a notification thing at the top. If I uh, go back and do that again, that will pop up. I am on iOS 17, so it might look a little different. Now, the unfortunate thing about this shortcut is that if you look at my Discord app icon in the bottom right, I have a notification, but in the shortcut, it doesn't show a notification. So to be honest, this feature is probably worth it. All right, now it's time for me to show you how to get a custom Discord app icon on your desktop. Now, if you look in my little taskbar here, you can see this weird application. That's Discord baby. Now, chances are you might not have some inspiration on what icon to pick, so I'll have a website in the description, discordavatarmaker.app, where you can make something, and if you do use this website, pro tip, click on the gear icon and set your background to be round, and once you download your icon, it will be in a .png format, which doesn't work with Windows, so you will need to convert it to a .ico file. I'll have this converter linked in the description, but you might be asking, why is it important to have round corners? Chances are, if you want to use your own art, it is going to have these super sharp corners that look absolutely horrendous horrendous on an app icon. So that means we will have to round the corners of this image. So if you have an image and you want to round the corners of it, then you want to go to photop.com. Yes, I'm going super deep with this tutorial, but what we want to do is we want to create a new project. And we're going to click on this Instagram template because it's 1080 by 1080, then click on create. And now we have our blank canvas. What you're going to do is you are going to drag in your image and then you need to make sure it is maximized. So you just need to drag the little handles. And once you maximize it all the way, it should snap into place. You might need to crop it by zooming in a little bit more and moving it around, but regardless, you should have your image in PhotoP. Next up, we want to go to the square tool here, or rectangle, and once you have the rectangle tool selected, what you want to do is you want to just create a square. Now, it doesn't need to be the perfect shape because we are going to modify it. Go to the top left and click on the little move tool. Then you want to make sure that transform controls is enabled so that you can move around this square and you can also resize it by holding and dragging these corners. Now, when you're moving and dragging this corner, you need to hold shift so you can change the aspect ratio and you just want to make it so that it fills the whole entire canvas. Once you do that, click on the little checkbox up here. And finally, what we want to do is make sure our shape is selected. Click on this little properties tab here, and it should open up this menu. And then what we need to do is we need to change the number in this box here. I would do something like 200. It looks pretty okay. And once you get the corner radius that you want the image to have, then you want to go back to your layer panel, move your image above the shape, right click on your image and click clipping mask. Then once you do that, turn off the visibility on your background and you now have an image with rounded corners that is transparent. And once things are looking exactly how you want it, you want to click on File, Export As, More.ico. And what we want to do is we need to change the numbers here to 256. It is perfectly cropped. Then you want to click on Save. And once it does that, it should download the .ico file. So now that you have your .ico file, we need to change Discord's app icon. So to do that, you want to press on the Start menu and just search for Discord. Then what you want to do is you want to click on Open File Location, and it should show you this Discord shortcut. You want to right click on the shortcut, click on properties, then it should pop up this menu and you want to click on change icon. Then what you want to do is you want to press on browse and then you want to locate your new icon. Mine is in my downloads folder for convenience and I'm going to pick the nerd icon. So I'm going to double click the icon, then press on OK and press on apply. And now Discord has this icon. However, in our taskbar, it is still the old one. So what we need to do is click on the start menu again, right click on Discord, unpin it from your taskbar, right click on it again, pin it to your taskbar, and kaboom, baby, your new Discord icon is now this nerd emoji. Now, there is a con. Anytime Discord updates, it will reset your icon. However, there is a pro, and it's the fact that if you get a message or you get a ping, it will still show you the indicator, which is extremely helpful. Now, if you want to go back to the old Discord icon, you can just reinstall Discord. Anyways, that's Discord's new custom app icons, which I somehow managed to derail into how to change your Discord icon on your desktop. But regardless, it's, a, it's just a feature that's just extra sprinkles on a cupcake. Cake. And there's nothing wrong with sprinkles, baby. So Discord, keep up the good work, baby. Love you, sweetheart. Bye-bye.